guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how I keep track of my goals. So now I had a video on how you set goals and of course after leaving that video you're wondering now okay I've set them. So I must first point out that I use the law of attraction journal to keep track of my goals. It's actually a very involved journal. It has a list of things that you can fill out and basically it's very useful in goal tracking and it has actually taught me a lot of the things that I know. It's actually very helpful for me when I write down these things because it kind of sinks it into my brain. And also it makes the things that I'm doing towards my goals throughout the year become almost like habits to me. So the first thing I do every month is check in on the last month and plan for goals going forward because it's easy to separate the year into months and take on the goals that I made at the beginning of the year in smaller chunks. At the beginning of the month, I say, okay, I'm gonna work on these aspects of these sets of goals this month. So it, I break down my big goals into small chunks and know how to approach it. Also, I look on the previous month and see what I hadn't done and see why I, haven't, why I didn't do that and what I can improve to make sure that I get it done this month. So the next thing I do is update a weekly checklist. So I even break the month down further, which makes it so much easier and make checklists towards the major month goals. So every week I make a long list of things that I need to get done this week towards the goal. I love checklists because it helps make sure that I do everything that I intended to do. But the thing about checklists is you have to always go back and check. That is really where they fail. The checklist is not the issue. You have to make sure that you go back. And for me, I'm always checking my checklist because I have so much faith in it. Also, anything that wasn't completed in one week, I carry it over to the next week if it's possible. And also, like I said, analyze again. Why didn't I get it done? You know, it was fine if I need to probably break that step down into something small as well. Additionally, in keeping track of my goals, I try to make sure I keep deadlines in mind. So I write on my calendar, and this is all in, by the way, I'm doing all of this in the journal. I write on my calendar so I can have a visual idea of where everything needs to be accomplished by. So like actually seeing, I'm a very visual person, so seeing things for me, writing things down really helps. And another thing that I do is actually designate time to goal tracking. So this is some basically I pick a day of the week that I know I'm going to be free or have a little time, have enough time that I can go through them and figure out which day um, what has been done so far. My the day that I choose is a Sunday, and usually what I do is turn on Netflix or YouTube playing in the background while I go through my goals because it's weirdly soothing for me. My Sundays are actually my day of recovery and recuperation generally, like all the reading and all the catching up that I need to do and all the checking that I need to do, I do on my Sundays. So designating a day for checking over your goals is actually very important. And if you want to see a Sunday routine, let me know in the comments down below because I'm willing to make one. I actually do a lot on my Sundays. I love Sundays. The trick is to remember that you're a human being and you can only do so much. But it's still good that at the end of the year, you can say that you have done at least a little bit towards your goals. So setting the goals is not the end of it. You have to know how to track them and lead on from there. So this is actually the first of the two videos that you've come to. You can click right here to check out how to set goals so you can know what you're tracking. And you can click right here to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and comment down below if you have been accomplishing your goals. Yes, that's what we're talking about today. Accomplishments in the comments down below because we want to celebrate you. I'll be with you down in the comments. Thanks for watching my video. Bye guys.